Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Market Insights here on Kalkine TV, I'm Sage. And today we'll be shining some light on the impact the crypto market is having on the economy. Many are saying crypto is currently in a bear market and to be fair, it's hard to tell with crypto. The inherent volatility of digital assets means that the direction of the market can change very quickly. And having said that, the crypto market has been in decline for close to three months now, led by Bitcoin, which in November reached a new all-time high of 68,500 US dollars. Today, it's worth around US $42,000. Now, meanwhile, countries around the world are grappling with the potential impact crypto will have on their wider economies. Some look upon this more favorably, while others see it as a threat to economic stability. And at a time when the global economy is dealing with the fallout of the pandemic, which has caused lockdowns all over the world throughout the past two years, never has the determination of crypto's impact on the wider economy been more important. In Russia's blanket ban on cryptocurrency just recently, the Russian media reported the Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Chinoshenko had signed a roadmap to regulate crypto operations in Russia. And this followed a report by Russia's central bank, which proposed a blanket ban on crypto-related activity in the country. The paper titled Cryptocurrencies, Trends, Risks and Regulation argues the adoption of cryptocurrencies poses sizable risks for the Russian financial market and particularly to the well-being of the Russian citizens due to market volatility, scams and cyber attacks, which they believe will lead to a loss of investment in traditional assets threat to central banks. Several countries have expressed their concerns regarding the threat posed to central banks by decentralized digital currencies. And China is another country which throughout 2021 put a blanket ban on both the trading as well as mining of digital currencies. Migration of Bitcoin mining. And before China imposed a ban on crypto mining, the majority of the world's Bitcoin occurred there. And this meant that following the ban, miners were forced to find other venues to execute the mining of various crypto coins. And those miners headed to places like Kazakhstan, where electricity is cheap. And bear in mind, the mining of Bitcoin alone has been reported to use as much electricity on an annual basis than smaller countries like Sweden, Malaysia and Egypt. The migration of miners to Kazakhstan has put pressure on the nation's power grid, causing regular power outages resulting in authorities being forced to ration electricity away from crypto miners, which consequently has forced those miners to migrate again to more electronically fruitful locations. And this loss of economic activity has reportedly resulted in losses of around 1.5 billion US dollars times Kazakhstan's economy. Policy and levels of regulation in Australia. Australia is one of the more friendly destinations and believes its economy will benefit from crypto in the long run, provided there is proper regulation put in place. A report published in October by the Senate Select Committee on Australia proposes licenses for crypto exchanges as well as streamlined taxation legislation. Australia has conveyed a relatively optimistic attitude to the future that decentralised digital currencies and blockchain technology can provide. So the bottom line, cryptocurrency is still a relatively new asset class. Its popularity, which has accelerated its status to the point where governments are now scrambling to either incorporate or reject it from participating within their larger economies, is even more recent. And for those countries like Australia who have chosen to incorporate rather than reject crypto assets, its effect on the wider economy remains to be seen. And thanks for your company on that report. And that's all for now. We will be back again with the exclusive Smart Market Insights show. But till then, keep watching Calcine TV for the latest market updates and related insights. Sage here, signing off for now.